Game of Thrones is an action role-playing video game based on A Game of Thrones, the first of the A Song of Ice and Fire novels by George R. R. Martin, and in part also on the novel's TV adaptation by HBO, Game of Thrones. The game was developed by Cyanide and published by Atlas USA in North America and Focus Home Interactive in Europe and Australia. James Cosmo and Conleith Hill reprise their roles from the HBO series as Lord Commander Gior Mormont and Lord Varys, respectively. George R. R. Martin has a cameo appearance as Maester Martin in Castlewood. The game also uses other assets from the HBO series, such as the music. Plot summary The game takes place concurrently with Season 1 of Game of Thrones, and switches between two characters, Alistair Sarwick and Morse Westford. Alistair, a knight, was the heir to Sarwick, a lordly house under Lannister, but had fled to Essos fifteen years before, being traumatized by an unspecified event at the end of Robert's Rebellion. During that time, he became a priest of Arlor. He returns to Riverspring, his home, after hearing of his father's death. Morse Westford is one of the best rangers of the Night's Watch, and prior to that, he was one of the best knights serving House Lannister. Near the end of Robert's rebellion, he refused a direct order to kill Elia Martell and her two infants, thereby putting his family's lives in danger. He sent his wife and daughter into hiding and was persuaded to join the Night's Watch to avoid execution. Morse is also a skinchanger, and has a dog which he can control at will. Alistair, at his father's funeral, learns that his younger brother Gaen was recently disinherited, and has gone missing following his father's death. Gaen is suspected of murdering his father with poison. Meanwhile, Alistair's half-brother, Valor Hill, a bastard and a knight of the Queen's Guard, is engaged to Alistair's sister, Eliana, and is set to become Riverspring's next lord, which Alistair is determined to stop. As the funeral ends, a riot occurs among starving peasants. Alistair takes command of the city guard and uses either force or negotiation to end the riot. Alistair then leaves for King's Landing to search for clues about Gaen's disappearance. While there, he is arrested by the City Watch at Valor's instigation. Varys helps him escape and meet with Queen Cersei, who decides to hire him for secret missions, and to make him compete against Valor. The two are sent to kill a bastard named Harry Waters, who is protected by John Aaron's knights, led by Godric Donnerly. With Godric dead, they learn that Aaron was protecting another woman and sent her to the Wall. Valor sends his lieutenant Yon to impersonate Godric and find this woman. Alistair then encounters Lord Arwood Harleton, who offers to help find Gaen. They find a genealogical book which proves that the Queen's children are illegitimate. Alistair searches the sewers for Gaen but finds bandits sent by Janos Slint. Alistair infiltrates the city watch and finds a Gaen's corpse, and a letter showing that Slint was hired by Valor. At this point, Harleton reveals that he is part of a conspiracy to reinstate the Targaryens, as was Alistair's father. Alistair joins and goes to Harlton's estate, Castlewood. While all this happens, Morse Westford is tasked with hunting down Night's Watch deserters. On one chase, he takes three new recruits to the castle Icemark, but they are attacked by wildlings. Two men die, one man named Potty Deserts, and Morse survives only when rescued by Q. Horan Halfhand. Morse pursues and kills Potty. Returning to Castle Black, Morse receives a letter from John Aaron asking him to protect a girl named Jane Greystone. Aaron's knights, led by Godric, appear to help Morse locate her. They find her in Mole's town but Jane insists that Godric is an imposter. Morse and others have several fights against the imposters, as well as members of the Night's Watch who were bribed. As Yon, the false Godric, dies, he reveals he was sent by Valor. Gior Mormont is furious and wants to strike back. He makes Morse a recruiter for the Night's Watch to give him a cover to head south, so that Morse can hide Jane and to bring Valor to justice. Weeks later, Morse and Jane arrive at a deserted cabin belonging to House Westford, where Jane reveals that she is a bastard daughter of Aerys Targaryen, one of King Robert's mistresses, and pregnant with the king's child. Shortly after, Morse discovers his wife and daughter's graves. They are attacked by Valor's men, but soldiers from Harlton counterattack and take Morse and Jane into custody. Harlton reveals that, as a top advisor, he arranged Jane's relationship with the king to produce a half Targaryen, half Baratheon to be a puppet ruler. Morse is tortured in the dungeon, but one night, he uses his dog to free another prisoner, Gaen. 
Gawain meets with his brother Alistair, who is staying upstairs, and reveals that Harlton murdered their father and faked Gawain's death. Alistair liberates Morse, but Gawain is killed. It is revealed that Morse and Alistair are old friends, who fought together in Robert's rebellion. Alistair and Morse are forced to flee Castlewood without Jane. At Riverspring, they find that Valor is holding the entire town hostage, but they successfully break in, derailing Valor's wedding. Morse duels Valor, but is killed by Valor's shadow magic. As he dies, Valor reveals that he was behind the murder of Morse family. The wedding guests proclaim the duel invalid because of the shadow magic, and try to support Alistair, but Valor reacts by massacring the town. Alistair reveals Jane's location to Valor in an attempt to save Eliana, but Valor kills her regardless. Alistair and his supporters organize a resistance while Valor takes most of his men to Castlewood. Afterwards, Alistair pays respects to Morse by performing the ritual of the last kiss, which unwittingly brings Morse back to life. As Valor attacks Castlewood seeking to capture Jane, Alistair and Morse sneak into the building, but find that Jane is in labor. Harlton is killed by Valor's shadow magic, while Jane allows Valor to kill her, hoping that he will not realize that she has already given birth. Back in Riverspring, Alistair and Morse learn that King Robert has died. A few days later, as Eddard Stark is being executed, they find and kill Valor, having stolen a Valyrian sword to fight off Valor's demons. Valor, with his dying breath, reveals that he and Alistair killed Morse family together, acting on Tywin Lannister's orders. This is why Alistair fled to Essos. Alistair and Morse duel to the death. One of them survives and is confronted by Varys, who offers to send Jane's baby to Essos to be cared for. The game has four possible endings. Alistair survives, sends the baby to Essos, and confronts the queen, whereupon he is dragged away for a quick execution. Alistair survives, gives the baby to the queen, and inherits Riverspring, but is depressed and contemplates suicide. Morse survives, sends the baby to Essos, and returns to the Wall, regularly executing deserters and becoming highly jaded. Morse survives and deserts the Night's Watch, hoping to raise the baby in Essos himself, as sworn brothers confront him at the Westford cabin. Topic. Development Topic. Downloadable content In November 2012 Cyanide published the downloadable content, DLC, Beyond the Wall. It is set ten years before the plot of Game of Thrones. It was released for PC platforms, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 in Europe. A North American release was planned, but dropped due to the poor critical reception the game had gotten. Gorald, Morse, and a sworn brother named Weasel are forced to go beyond the wall, after a Night's Watch builder, Makar, is abducted by wildlings. Weasel betrays Gorald and Morse to a wildling chief named Bael. Bael forces Morse and Gorald to take part in his pit fights. Morse meets his dog here, who is also forced to fight. After Morse and Gorald make an unpopular decision in the pits, a wildling, presumably angry at losing his wager, breaks into Morse cage to assassinate him, but Morse dog kills him. This enables Morse to find Gorald and escape the camp. However, Morse insists that they find Makar first. Makar is found to have had his arms and legs removed, and reveals that they were taken to provide meat to feed the pit fighters. He also tells Morse that he revealed the wall's secrets and weaknesses to the wildlings. Morse sends Gorald back to get reinforcements, and proceeds to massacre the entire wildling encampment. When the Sworn Brothers return, one comments that it is, like a slaughterhouse, and Gorald, finding Morse, replies, I. And there's the Butcher, giving Morse his nickname. Topic. Reception Game of Thrones received mixed reviews on all platforms according to the review aggregation website Metacritic. IGN praised the well-crafted plot, but criticized its poor execution through low-quality graphics, sound design, animations and voice acting, as well as a repetitive combat experience. The Guardian gave the Xbox 360 version 3 stars out of 5 and called it a decent game that has been horrifically let down by one substandard element. However, the Digital Fix gave the same console version a score of 5 out of 10 and said, 
by hook or by crook Cyanide managed to win this license before it hit the big time with HBO, and it's difficult to believe that they would be given the opportunity to create Westeros now that it is so much more well known. A serviceable game with blood spurts and political machinations would have sufficed as a first step, allowing them time to bed and get to know the nuances of third-person combat. Instead, apart from the story, there is a general feeling of detachment from the game and its main gameplay elements giving rise to the notion that most who play it will do so only to find out how the tales of Morse and Alistair twist and turn on their way to conclusion. Digital Spy gave the PC version two stars out of five and said that it takes a while to get going, but perseverance is rewarded with an engaging story full of tough choices and interesting dilemmas. Unfortunately, the plot is let down by poor storytelling, sloppy visuals and mediocre gameplay, despite a relatively deep combat system. <laughs>